We're joined here by Knights pitching coach Steve McCaddy. Cat, great week for you personally as far as some of the guys that you've mentored. Lucas Giolito got a chance to pitch in the Major League All-Star game on Tuesday. Did you get a chance to see Lucas pitch on Tuesday? No, I didn't. Uh, well, a lot of times for us, we try to go home and, and sit there and do nothing, but I got uh, two sons. And they're older, but it's like, okay, dad's got to do something with them because you only have three days and you don't you don't really have time to sit there and watch the game. So I didn't get a chance to see him pitch. I would like to have, but I, I, I really didn't. Having a chance to have worked with Lucas down here in Charlotte and seeing him go up and emerge into an all-star pitcher in the American League, what does it mean to you? Do you take some personal satisfaction out of it? I, you know, I, 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 I guess I really, when I say I don't, and I don't mean it that way, uh, just seeing, okay, here he's an all-star, and you know, my little finger might have touched him somewhere. I'm just happy for the fact that he got to the big leagues, and that's really cool. What he does once he gets there and the improvements he made with what he did this offseason, the changes, mechanics, you know, stuff we talked about, but he really took after last year when the numbers weren't good and really decided to make a change, and he did it. I, I'm happy for him because he's a good kid. Uh, you know, it's not saying, oh, boy, I got a guy to the all-star game. I mean, that's, that's not – big thing for me. I'm just happy you did it. Another one of your pitchers that you uh, mentored uh, started out the year here. Uh, Dylan Cease recently got promoted, uh, got his first major league win in his first appearance. The, the knock here was that they had to get Dylan ready to get up there. Uh, was Dylan prepared when he got up to the big leagues for his debut? Well, his with his stuff, what he has, he could go up there, as we talked about, and boom, he's locked in. Yeah, there were some things here, the consistency, the command. Yeah, you know, also a couple of, uh, we had the rain delay where he got knocked out after the first inning. The stuff is major league stuff. Uh, he's still, you know, going to work on commanding his fastball, but I wasn't surprised at all, you know, just because he has the stuff to do it. And uh, he went there, uh, like everybody else, when he started working up to this 34th and 35th pitch after getting two outs. I was finally glad to see him get through it, but uh, to say that, okay, is there more he could have done, you know, command could have been better? Sure, you'd love to have seen it, but the stuff is Major League stuff. You know, he's throwing 98. He's got a great curveball and slider, and he's got a really good changeup, so it's all there. So just him going out there and having uh, the success that day, that was really cool. A couple of quick ones. Cat, when you get a staff uh, at the beginning of the year, you have a whole list of pitchers. Do you have individual programs for each guy? Like, what is your approach as you try to mentor a uh, minor league pitching staff? There, there are some things that you get. Here's what he's struggled with. Here's that and that. But I kind of do what I do. <laughs> you probably figured that out now. Uh, I'll see things, and it's generally what I'm told. But we all know mechanics. We all understand mechanics. Any pitching coach understands mechanics, but there is so much more to this game than mechanics. It, it, giving somebody some confidence, uh, trusting them to learn situations, what they do and what they don't do well, and just basically try to under, get them to understand what type of pitcher they are. And, uh, and I'll make changes or talk about things, but it's really up to them. But a lot of times when guys are here, they have the ability but there's always, you know, a little, whether it's a mental thing or not, the, 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 the thought process always helps you when you have good stuff. And that's, you know, for me, that's, we talk a lot about that. All right, our last one before we get blown out of here by a thunderstorm. Is there a certain philosophy that you have, like, that you try to instill in these guys? What is the Steve McCaddy philosophy of pitching? Uh, somebody asked me years ago, and I said it with tongue in cheek, the longer I'm on the mound, the more trouble I'm in. So <laughs> we got to take the ball and throw it over the plate. Results are going to be what they are. If, if you're aggressive and you're throwing strikes and they hit you, we can live with that. But especially in this ballpark and now with the balls being the way they are, if you walk guys and put them on, that's going to be, make it really tough for you. So my thought is your stuff's really good. you got to trust it, but you got to throw it over the plate. you got to put yourself in counts that are advantageous to you, not to the hitter. So throwing strikes and not walking people, that to me is a, is a, is a big deal. And... I say that, that's experience, because I've walked some guys. I was not a strikeout guy. I, I just believe that if you make quality pitches, you're going to get outs quicker, and you can, as a starter, be out in the field longer. Cat, always a pleasure. Uh, keep up the good work, and we'll talk to you down the road. All right, I appreciate it. Thanks, man. All right.